this episode, we're going to meet some nocturnal animals. But for that, we're going to wait until it gets dark. So why wait until dark? Well, all around me are bats. But the trouble is, we can't see very well with these cameras. But luckily, we've brought along an infrared camera to see exactly what's going on. These are Natteras bats, one of 17 species to be found in the UK. In late summer and early autumn, they take part in swarming, where hundreds, if not thousands of individuals congregate at caves for mating. I joined the University of Leeds, who are researching this swarming behaviour, to see some of these species close up. So let's get down to basics. What is a bat? Well, first of all, Bats are mammals. They belong to a single order, Chiroptera. This roughly divides into two suborders, Yangoteroptera and Yingteroteroptera. I know, a bit of a mouthful. Yangoteroptera includes the majority of microbats. So what's a microbat? Well, they're not so easy to define. However, microbats use echolocation to navigate in the dark and find food. Microbats also tend to be smaller, and lack a claw on the second finger of the forelimb. Yinteroteroptera contains four microbat families and the megabats. Megabats are commonly called fruit bats, or in some cases, flying foxes. And they can get pretty big too, up to a 1.7 meter wingspan. All species, with the exception of the Egyptian fruit bat, lack echolocation. Instead, they rely on both sight and smell to navigate and find fruity food and nectar. So what makes bats so fascinating? Well, first of all, bats are the only mammals to have evolved true flight, meaning they use their wings to power themselves through the air. As I said before, bats echolocate. So I brought with me a bat detector so we can hear some of their calls. Bat echolocation is ultrasonic which means their calls tend to be beyond the range of our hearing. Now this is a heterodyne bat detector, which shifts down the frequencies so we can hear them. Now it would take a whole episode to try and explain how echolocation works. But quite simply, bats create ultrasonic calls to produce echoes. In a split second, the bat's brain compares the outgoing pulse with the returning echo, creating a picture of the world around them. So how many bat species are there? There's about 1,240 species of bat. And amazingly, they make up approximately a quarter of all mammal species. Found across the globe, they play key ecological and economic roles, all of which we'll cover in future episodes. So let's finish with some bat misconceptions. Blind as a bat? Actually, no bat is blind. Many microbats have underdeveloped eyes, mainly due to their reliance on echolocation and auditory senses. But the brown long-eared bat is one species that partially uses sight to navigate and glean prey off vegetation. Bats get caught in your hair. This is pretty unlikely. Bats are extremely agile and perfectly adapted for life in the dark. Most bats are vampires. Actually, there's only three species of bat that use blood as a food source, and all are found in the Americas. In fact, the majority of bats are insectivorous, and of course fruit bats eat fruit juice and nectar, but some other species eat frogs, lizards, fish, and even other bats. That was a swift introduction to bats. I'll be making more bat-heavy programs in the future. If you're from the future, click here to find out more. If you're from the present, well, you're just going to have to wait a bit. Anyway, catch you later.